Hello everyone, welcome to the Alien Mobile video. My name is Rutrine, I have one leg that's apparently shorter than the rest. <laughs> and today we're building a cool little weird base for our PBXC series. Now I really wanted to build a Game Boy base, I don't know why. I built it on PC to test it out, and I think it's really heckin' cool. Is it weird? Yes. Completely useless? Definitely. <laughs> but do I want a base like that? Heck yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. Now my first recording did mess up because I am actually recording on an iPad now if you guys can't tell with the whole weird aspect ratio. So the first part of the steps actually already done. <laughs> uh, build in a 7x7 seven seven, uh, like metal base like this. I recommend uh, placing all with thatch foundations first to get started. But that's the uh, the very first step. Get metal foundations, uh, 49 of them in a seven by seven shape. Now I can't really have to, I can't really redo that part. But on to the next part. We have a lot of metal walls. I mean, a lot of them. Probably too many. But are there too many? I have no heckin' idea. But let's go ahead and for this part, uh, metal walls. We're gonna have the, uh, these two corner pieces right over here. So this corner up here, and this corner right over here. Uh, both of these will be three high and then all of the walls that are going in the perimeter around on the other three sides uh, they all go two high so we'll continue them just like this across the entire way around okay once those are placed all too high around let's go ahead and get this little part right over here all done because we have some gates we gotta place and hi mr stego you're just kind of a little bit in the way <laughs> let's see on to the heckin gates so we have uh, one of the normal dinosaur gates, a doorway, a door, and we also have plenty of metal window frames. And I'm also going to go ahead and make sure I grab a few of the walls. We should only need, I believe, two of them for the recipe. Oh, just enough space for all of them. Awesome. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, let's see if I can build around them in the meantime. So first things first, in these little corners, these have the, uh, the window frames. Then a gate goes right over here. Let's see, uh, just like this. And then a doorway right over here. And then don't forget to always add the door. I always forget that part. And then let's see, uh, add the gateway right over here. <laughs> this poor Stego, oh my gosh. And then the window frames right over here. So that's how you get for this side of it. And then after that, you can just like uh, spam these with more of the walls going directly upward. Now these can also be, is that just an egg? The heck's that? Oh, it's a parachute. <laughs> I have no idea what people are doing on the server. Okay, so yeah, this can go up as, as high as you want and then continue on that side as well. Let's see, next up, we're gonna be grabbing a bunch of the uh, the thingamabobs, these things. So we shouldn't need 49 of them right away, but a, a good deal of them. Let's just grab as much as we can and hopefully the stegos, <laughs> hopefully the stegos not in the way. So for this next part, go ahead and take as many ceilings as possible, and I hear my gigas, they're too heckin' close. <laughs> but yeah, I take these ceilings and place them however way you want. I personally prefer them. <laughs> more parachutes, oh my gosh. But yeah, take these uh, for, for all the section that is too high from here all the way over to where the stego is, where the ends off the too high, uh, fill in the entire area of this entire giant square all too high and we'll see you guys back in just a minute when that's all filled in okay so once the green uh not the greenhouse so once the top of the base is all finished up it'll have the uh i believe it's six high for the uh like for the greenhouse ceilings and then five wide this way and then make a ginormous square around it for the uh the metal part on the outside then we just kind of fill it in making it uh it should be 10 high from foundation to the top all topped off with all of the uh the heckin ceilings and once you get the ceilings on top, you can then fill in the hole all the way down here next to the gate. So it'll become one uh, ginormous heckin' square. Well, rectangle technically, but close enough. So let's go ahead and decorate this part. So let's see, for Game Boys, uh, they're pretty heckin' interestingly shaped. So let's see, uh, hopefully I can plan this out at night. Heckin' RG, so heckin' loud. So let's see, I have plenty of these things, uh, let's see. So fun fact, you can't paint normal crop beds, but on Arc Mobile, the uh, the weird little square ones, like the fancy ones, you actually can paint those. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this in a good enough spot. 
Let's see, uh, the square button thing is slightly above the middle. So I'm gonna try and get it so it'll be about... Uh, about over here should be alright. I'm gonna try and get it about right here. And then I'm gonna try and move over nice and perfectly to the side. And then basically I'm gonna be building the, uh, like the, not square shape, kind of the plus sign for that. Hopefully it won't be too crazy in the way, but I think I got the size just okay. Let's see. Gotta get it right over here as well. And then one on top on the other side. Of course, I think my RG's in the way, but oh well. Uh, where's the actual edge of this? Gotta make sure it's nice and perfect. Okay, right about over uh, here should be perfect. Let's go ahead and check that out. Yep, perfect. I mean, you can't get it too exact, but it doesn't look too, too sideways. And after that, we'll be, we'll be painting it as well to make match the colors, but painting will be for later. And then as for the buttons, we also have the, uh, the round ones. Now, the, uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, actually, I parked my RG directly in the way of it. So the very first of these actually go right over here. So I think it's the it's either the A or B button. I'm always confusing which one's which, but one of them goes right over here, almost parallel to this one. Let's see, right about over here should be all right. And the next one goes right over here, slightly raised. And that should be all right for those two. Let's go ahead and check them out one more time. Holy heck, RG, you are mad loud. There we go. But as you can see, the buttons are just like that, so it looks vaguely Game Boy-ish. <laughs> the keyword is definitely vaguely, though. Oh my god. Okay, RG, please don't go too crazy. And I believe I can place... I cannot place metal signs quite like this, so I have a different substitute. It ain't perfect. <laughs> definitely ain't perfect, but let's see. I believe it is seven long, so one, two, three, four... And then place it right in the middle of the little button over here. And then at the very bottom, I have a sturdy. Let's see, right on this end over here. Now we have a space for two more of these handy dandy buttons. Let's see. Make sure along the same foundation. I'll place one on this side. And then another one on this side of it. And they're a little bit two sticking out but there's only so many options considering you cannot paint to the uh the smaller crop beds but this will be the start and select buttons yeah i mean not so bad i mean i think the rd poop does help out an awful lot <laughs> okay so on to the rest of the signs and whatnot so i have a heck ton of all of the metal signs and they're be kind of decorated along the side over here now, let's see, can I get them? Let's see, I'll go in first person. I uh, can't seem to get too close to them, but I'll place one right over here. Now, hold I can reach these while painting later. That might be a little bit of an issue. So there's two of them right there for the uh, the power and whatchamacallit buttons. I'm honestly not that bright when it comes to naming these things, but I'll figure those out later. And then uh, as for these over here, we also have two more on place in the wall here. Now this is basically uh, the I think it's power button or bony button. It's one of those. But I'll have them painted later to match everything. And then on the other side, the same hacking thing. <laughs> Let's see, place one right over here. And then another one right over here. Now I wish I could change the angle, but I don't know why they're kind of picky about that. That does cover a majority of the uh, the main decorations on the outside. Now, where the heck did I come RG? There's a limo burb. So now that those buttons are all 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 like all had uh, placed, I'm gonna go ahead and check out what other things we can go ahead and build. I think it's mostly just placing down all of the electronics, which honestly I am gosh darn ter terrible at. So right over here in the inside. So let's see, I'm gonna put on, on these on that hot bar. So for this part, uh, I take these, doesn't matter which direction it's facing. 
Just about uh, four wide this way, and then top them off with the uh, with the metal walls. It's just a way to divide the base to get some structure to it instead of it being one ginormous square in the middle. And why does it? Actually, no, they're all in line. Forget about that. Okay, there we go. Okay, nice. Are, is one of those out of place? Uh, one of them may be out of place, but you know what? Eh, I ain't that picky. <laughs> and then we fill them all in with the metal window frames. Well, not window frames, you fill them with the little tiny windows. I mean, you, can, you could just do walls, but I want to get some extra uh, stuff for it. Let's see. So for the next part, metal railings. Now it doesn't matter too, too much where you put these. I know I placed them about through over here. And, whoops, not over there. And then another three right over here. This is just more of like dino storage. If you want to store your dinos, how nice and organized. Uh, this is more for a very, very small uh, like interior base location. I'm mostly going to be having this as like a little tiny breeding pen, so it'll be mostly in the corner, but eventually we can have the parents organized over here. So let's see, for the next part we have the metal catwalks, and those go right this way. So put one over here, then another along this way. And can I get it to work this way? Yeah, it's being a little bit annoying. I might just keep it just this one over here. I mean, if I need more than like 10 of the, uh, 10 of the uh, air conditioners, then I think I have too many of them. Let's see, uh, the metal signs are up next. Uh, metal signs are actually placed on the outside of the base. Let's go ahead and get those. Let's see, little emo burb. We're gonna need your help with this. Oh, heck, you're loud. Actually, I'm also gonna go ahead and might as well uh, kill two birds with one stone right here. And I believe Faramir actually has a bunch of them. Oh, I forgot I don't have the gold crown on me. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. I am way too low level for this. There we go. And fire me is encumbered. <laughs> Obviously, I've planned this out totally in advance. So we have plenty of these storage boxes, the uh, the crop beds, the crop uh, crop squares. Now I haven't quite. I mean, I've looked at this for both mobile and um, and PC. I'm not quite sure the exact way I want to organize this. Oh boy. Ugh, really? Okay, one quick second, guys. Okay, so it's daytime in game and I finished decorating and holy heck, if you turn around too much with all the lights in my base, it starts flickering. <laughs> If you just look at this, you can see that they're just flickering on and off. <laughs> so yeah, maybe don't use the uh, omnidirectional light post or any directional light post or just lights in general. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off, but this is how I went ahead and decorated stuff for it. I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, increase the uh, the game audio just a little bit now the uh, generator's off. So for how I decorated it, we have three vaults over here, uh, two preserving bins over here, we have three of the fridges, I put uh, the wiring's a little bit messed up. <laughs> All th thank you, Mr. Rex, off in the background, or the like, Giga actually. Uh, we have a bunch of the air conditioners all in a row. We have a power generator. We have industrial grill, fabricator. We have our feeding trough, our smithy, a whole wall of vaults, two heckin' many of them. <laughs> and let's see. So on to the heckin' coloring. So now that the majority of the base is already all, all done, I mean, we, we could just leave it as a plain metal Game Boy. But you know what? Everyone had really cool Game Boys as a kid. We had the red ones, the blue ones, like the, uh, what was it called? Like the baby blue and the, uh, the um, how, was it powder blue? It was one of those blue colors, but long story short, we have a bunch of them. I managed to go ahead and make a bunch of sky coloring. I will be using the uh, almost like a light tealish color for it, but the sky blue was the closest that, that I could get for it. As well, we have the black coloring for the buttons. We also have one for the green, uh, green coloring for the uh, the pa like power button, and a bunch of heckin' stuff like that. So let's go ahead and heckin' get started. So let's see for these. Tap and drags onto our hotbar, and we're making uh, the first one. This one right over here. That's going to be the blue one. This is going to be the black one, and this is going to be the green one. And they should be. Pretty easy to paint, but 
hopefully it won't be too crazy. Uh, everything will be powder blue. Okay, one of the last ones. Let's go ahead and get a paint job just finished. You would not heck and believe how many... I think it's been like 45 minutes of me recording this. <laughs> and that's just for the heckin' painting part. You won't believe how crazy it is to try and fly Griffin around while holding a spray painter. <laughs> it is not very fun. But anyways guys, this is how it looks when it's all finished. So basically, uh, the entire main body is the sky coloring, which basically is made to look like the uh, the pearl... Is it pearl or uh, powder blue? It's one of those like bluish settings for the, uh, the Game Boy. Uh, this little middle area, uh, that's all painted black for the game cartridge. All the buttons on top also painted black for the game cartridge. Not game cartridge, for the buttons. Holy heck, I'm stupid. Uh, on the side over here, we have the little power uh, power button, the power light thingy over here. And let's see, uh, the little buttons on the corners for like, the little tiny uh, like the trigger buttons, and the uh, volume button right over here. And on the inside, I have, I have also decorated it. It's just pretty much random stuff, but... Go ahead and view that as well. So I made everything kind of a... Uh, oh, that one's black for the trigger buttons, but... <laughs> everything's kind of heckin' crazy. It's very, very bright. Very, very colorful, but you know what? I really like it. And I, like, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching the video too, and... Interesting. <laughs> we can see the shadows of the heckin' buttons. That's very, very weird. <laughs> oh well. But anyways, I am really, really heckin', ha uh, heckin happy that we do finally have a base for our stuff as well a way to actually store a few of our dinos. I mean, I can store a Godarble or something in there. <laughs> but yeah, that wraps up how to build a Game Boy base. I mean, it's interesting. It's different. Uh, can I actually dump up onto here? I believe I can. Let's see. And I missed. <laughs> but anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below and comment and subscribe. All the heckin' fun stuff. I also play on the server Rootry and PVX a heckin' lot of the time. Basically, any day I don't have work, I'm probably playing on it. <laughs> but let's see, let's go a little aerial, aerial view for that. I may make a separate stream for actually decorating it. I wanted to save that for a future thing. Uh, if you want to decorate it yourself, just place any ceilings or walls. And I was thinking of actually using the garden items eventually. So if you go into the uh, the shop menu, uh, decor, garden, there's actually garden trees, you can place hedges and stuff. I was thinking of making like a Mario-esque kind of thing in the inside. I think it'd be really heckin' fun, but that'll be for a future thing. Anyways, hope everyone enjoyed the video, and we'll heckin' see you all next time. Bye everyone.